Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Game Week 7 review with regards to Fanta Life Serie A and also my preparation for Game Week, game week 8 which is gonna be happening after the international break. So as you can see, in game week 7 I got 45 points. Um, decent amount of points. My captain was Mertens, my vice captain was Korov. I made two transfers which cost me a minus 4 points. Um, so I do have 0.6 million in the bank. And let's quickly have a look on my players with regards to game week 7. I had Seppi as my starter goalkeeper with 4 points. Um, he did a couple of saves. As you can see here, Parma lost against Spar away 1-0. So he was so close to get a clean sheet. It's okay. Uh, meanwhile, my other goalkeeper was Silvestri, he was on, on my bench, he was able to get a clean sheet. As you can see here, Vahilas Verona got a clean sheet against Verona, uh, against Sambadori at home. It looks like that Hilas Verona are very good defensive wise. Um, Dalbert, the only defender who got a clean sheet. Uh, meanwhile, Rado and Kolarov couldn't get a clean sheet or neither some attacking returns. As you can see, Roma, they drew against Cagliari 1-1. And Lazio as well, a draw against Bologna. So for my midfielders, Shananoglu, uh, nothing. He substituted uh, a bit early, so just one point. In the game, they, when they won against Genoa, 2-1, he didn't contribute with any of these two goals. Bianic assisted the goal that the Palace scored against Inter. Since he, he got injured earlier in the match, so he couldn't uh, play uh, 60 minutes, so just one pin, one uh, point from him. Luis Alberto assisted a goal, uh, one of the goals that Immobile scored. As you can see, I do have Immobile here. He scored two goals, and, but unfortunately, he wasn't my captain. Mertens was my captain. Insigne finally. At least he played, despite his not being injured. And Napoli, attacking wise, it's been a little bit weird because uh, what I know from about Napoli that they are very good defend, uh, attacking wise. They score, they score a lot of goals. But in the last two matches, the one that they played in the Champions League and this one, they didn't score any goal uh, and this is not uh, quite common for Napoli attackers but hopefully in the upcoming weeks uh, things go well with their attack attackers so this is uh, for my bench uh, Sean scored the, the goal against Milan and, but also he missed the penalty which cost him a minus two points, so instead of seven, he got five points. I was wishing that some player didn't, does not play, so maybe Sean take his place, but that hasn't happened. Asamoa, not a clean sheet against uh, Juventus. Danilo, he didn't even play, he is injured. So this is my game week seven review. And let's have a look.
uh, on my legs. As you can see, I still am still in the 16th position in my league with the overall points 350. And let's see who are the first three managers. The number one is Bida de Khaled with 460. Oh, this is amazing. Nice score from Bida de Khaled. The second is Benedict Mohammed, 416. A little bit far away from uh, Bidadi Khalid. And uh, the third is Muhammad Harp for 410. Okay, as you can see, the fourth and the fifth. And also, okay, the fourth, the fifth. From the fifth until the second, they are so close. So any one of them can be the second, can be the third. But I think Bidadi Khaled is going away and we need to catch him guys. We need to catch him. Uh, and he, Bidadi Khaled, seems like he is a Napoli fan. fan. Team Napolitan. Uh, I wish if I can have a look at each one's lineup, but it seems like it's not possible for him. Anyways. Let's go and have a look on my how my team is gonna line up ahead of match day eight, game week, game week eight. Let's see. So I made two transfers, as you can see. Um, I still have Seppi. Okay, let's let's talk about my new players. I brought Di Lorenzo, Napoli's right defender, right back, and also I bought Pulgar. So I had Di Lorenzo instead of Danilo. I I sold Danilo and I had Di Lorenzo. And let's see some information about Di Lorenzo and why I, did I. But did I buy him? Buy him? Uh, let's see. Um, he did score one goal. He assisted. He had one assist. Some couple of shot, shot, shots on target. He's 5.6. Uh, he started uh, the game 5.5, and he is getting his price is getting rising. So, and also let's have a look at the fixtures. They have Spal, um, Atalanta, Roma, Verona as well, uh, Genoa. So a couple of decent fixtures here where they can score a lot of goals and also some clean sheets on the horizon, if not a couple of attacking returns from him. Um, and uh, also my new players, my other second new player is Pulgar, and let's see some information about him. He scored three goals and two assists, and a lot of shots on target, and on goal as well. So he is very, very good attacking wise. And as you can see, he started the game with a price of 6.5 and now he is 6.8. So his, his price is, is rising very quickly and we need to get him as soon as possible, especially with these nice fixtures. And let's not talk about Lazio's fixture, just after Lazio's fixture, okay, he, he still he hasn't played Breccia as well uh, till now. Uh, so we have Breccia, Sassolo, Palma, Cagliar, Verona, Lecce, Torino. A couple of very, very decent pictures apart from Lazio. So there are a couple of potential, very decent amount of points in these upcoming pictures from Pulgar. 
and as, I, as far as I know, he is on penalties with regards to Fiorentina. So I do have uh, Dalbert and Polgar from Fiorentina. And if you have a look on some highlights of Dalbert, he, he go a lot uh, close to the opponent's penalty. He's very good attacking wise. So there are a couple of attacking returns and potential from him. And uh, other from these two players, the, the rest are still the same. And I'm gonna wait. The one who is fit and have this, the, the easiest fixture is gonna start. So uh, I think uh, until this moment, this is how my team is gonna line up ahead of game week 8. And I'm gonna wait until the international break finish and the player who is fit and having the easiest fixture, I'm gonna start him. So this is my, this is, was my game week. 7 review and my game week 8 preview I wish I gave you some information that might help you and don't forget if you have any suggestions just, just write it in the comments down below and please follow me on Twitter as you can see this my name is Amali77 uh, follow me and let's talk about some fantasy stuff so as you as I said this is both my game week 7 review and my game week 8 review good luck for all of you guys in the upcoming game weeks and goodbye